Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Abishai, Bashem, Wakak, Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered among the heathen nations that look like the heathen nations around the four corners of the earth and the Akwath that are listening and learning. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And this is just going to be a, a reading from the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus um, and some precepts. Because through the Spirit, I chose this book to read today. You know, I'm always looking in the Spirit to be fed something to, to edify the body on. And this is basically what the Lord gave me. I was watching another brother and he brought out a, a one scripture in this chapter and I started reading the chapter and, um, and, and I just came up with all these precepts, just reading it. And I was like, well, you know what? I got to go through this. But uh, reading the book of Sirach, or reading the Apocrypha, you clearly, clearly understand why the Bible Destruction Group removed the Apocrypha um, out of the King James Bible because they could not have uh, justified the blasphemous version of Christianity, the blasphemous religion of Christianity that they teach this day, which is completely and totally against the Bible. Even though they're reading out of the Bible, they add, they take away all sort of madness. But without any further ado, Let's let the, the word of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai speak. And it reads, this is uh, Sirach, the 36th chapter, verse 1. Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh, power of all, and behold us. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. All right, that's all those nations. And I'm going to read this scripture probably twice. This is Psalms, not Psalms, but Revelation. It's my first precept. <clears throat> uh, 22, 26, and 7. And it reads, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. See? Putting up these videos, going out on the highways and byways. Being a brother, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You know? Fulfilling your lot. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I receive of my father. So all the other nations are going to get broken to shivers, man. And put underfoot, under Yahweh Shai and under, under his, his 12 tribes. Back in Sirach 36, chap, uh, verse number three. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Let's go back to Revelation. <laughs> this is Revelation. One and verse seven. And it reads... Behold, he cometh with clouds. Those are the chariots, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs or, or aliens. All right. Behold, he cometh with clouds and everyone shall see him and they also which pierced him and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So that's how you know that all the other nations and all the other races are not looking forward to the Lord coming back like the blasphemous lie that Christianity teaches. All right. They're not looking forward to the Lord coming back. Why? They're all going to well because of him. And then it also proves reincarnation or regeneration in this scripture because it says they, everyone shall see him, even they which pierced him. So those two Roman centurions, soldiers that pierced Yahweh Shai when he was on the cross, they're going to see him return, which means they have to be here now. All right. 
that's what it is. Sirach 36 and 4. As though thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know, as we have known thee, that there is no power but only thou, O power. You see, we have known him because it clearly says that the other nations have not known him. It says that in Amos. All right. In Joel, it says that he was uh, um, our power, our God only. This is Joel 2 and 27. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and I am, I am Yahweh, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. All right. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And that a hey, and, and all that's happened among all Israel, even among the heathen, because it is another scripture where the Lord said he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Even the heathens are having uh, uh, dreams and visions of, of, of the of the second coming and of the destruction. FEMA camps, armies marching. People dying in, in camps and dying in violent uh, uh, clashes on the streets, famine and all that sort of thing. Even the heathen are seeing it. Not to mention that 2019, it was reported over two, over 6,000 uh, so-called UFO sightings. So anyone who, who, who makes fun of it, you're looking like a fool now. You're the one that's being clown. You're the fool. You're the clown. You're the crazy one. Because the, the, the Air Force... The military and the airlines are, are all admitting it. The pilots are, 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 have now been given a green light to tell you what they've been seeing up there. And all the footage has been showing up all along, even before they said it. Because everyone has what you're seeing me on, a camera. And modern, everyday citizens, just normal citizens, doing family vacations or whatever, are, are, are picking up these things on their cameras and then uploading the, uh, the images to the internet. You can't deny that anymore, man. And everyone's in fear. That's why, why you think uh, uh, President Donald Trump is uh, uh, authorized this 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 multi-billion dollar space force. Is they going to actually try to fight the Lord, which is going to be stupid and useless, man. The Lord is going to annihilate them. All right. Verse six in Sirach. 36 and 6 show new signs and make other strange wonders glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth wondrous set forth thy wondrous works raise up indignation and pour out wrath take away the adversary and destroy the enemy <laughs> the coronavirus these locusts that are uh, going to cause some serious famine issues, which is going to affect the whole world in Africa. Um, all these fires around the world in Babylon and everywhere else, the fires that are still burning in, in, in uh, Australia. Earthquakes, wars and rumors of wars. The, the Lord is showing you, man. And he told you in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter. That these will be signs that the Lord is now beginning that Yahweh is visiting the world which he made. All right. Which he made through the power of his sons. And, 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 and the uh, and the archangels. The Alahayim, as you read in Genesis, where it says God, it says Alahayim. And the Alahayim is, is plural. The powers. And those powers were who the world ignorantly calls Christ and the several archangels and the elect. They were there in the beginning making everything. All right. The father sat on his throne and, and gave you a shot of power and the archangels. When you read the Bible, it gives you it gives up the names of who all the archangels are. Satan was one of them. So for all you you idiots who think that uh, Satan was kicked out of heaven and all that mess. That's not what that's talking about. All right. You don't understand the scriptures. Take notes. Verse 8, make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonders, 
thy wonderful works and the covenants, meaning both the new and the old covenant. The new covenant means that the, the, the law is going to get put in our inward parts and will be made perfect and will never fall again. That's the difference. All right, because it's impossible to keep the whole law in this wicked, weak flesh that we're in. These chains of darkness. All right, that's what we're looking to be changed in a moment. Get those new bodies, you know, become extraterrestrial. Okay, which is in the scriptures. Matter of fact, let me grab a precept for the one I just read. This is Mark. Thirteen and twenty. It's thirteen, thirteen. I'm gonna read that again back in Sirach. Make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. Alright? This is Mark 13 and, and 20. And except that Yahweh has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom thou hast chosen, he hath shortened the days. Because the way he going, man, you know, that's how we know that 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 Yahweh's coming back soon, man. That he's sending Yahweh shy soon. Because the, the rate of the way that the, the prophecies are popping off. And 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 the, the more edgy and more violent. And more desperate that he is getting, man, because he's getting ready to start moving on the people. And most importantly, he's getting ready to start moving on the prophets. And when he puts his hands on, on, on us, that's when that standard's going to be lifting up against him. Then he's going to have to deal with Michael. All right? Like Allah. Which means one who is like God. You know, that's what the word Michael, the name Michael, the name Mitchell, the name, the name Michelle. Michelle should never be a should never have been a woman's name. Michelle is just a French way of saying Michael. All right. Um, the word Mitchell is made up. Mitchell is just another way of saying Michael. All right. And the name Michael means one who is like God. All right. Do some research on it. For those of you who may be in doubt, when you look up the name Michael, you'll see all the names I just mentioned. Those are all derivatives of it. All mean it all means the same name. It's all the same name, basically just spelled differently. Uh, Sirach thirty six nine. Let him that escape be consumed by the rage of fire, and let them perish that oppress the people. So, you escape the famine and all these other. Uh, <laughs> catastrophes you live to the end then you're just going to die when the missiles come when the arrows are fired from one end of the earth when they come in their ranks 200,000 thousand and none of them are going to miss so those who survive all this apocalyptic things that are coming up if you're not of the elect you're only going to be here to be burned up by the fires man like Sarah Connor okay and then it says, and let them perish that oppress the people. Well, we know who that is. So, because uh, we all still, I'm being oppressed right now. Back and forth to court with these devils. You know? But this is Revelation 4 and 21. And it reads, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Verse 22, the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no, man, no more carry away, carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So hey, Edom is being made bare, man. They're being made totally bare. Matter of fact, let me peep an a, a unplanned precept. Let me just peep it, decide if I'm going to read it or not. Oh, yeah. This is Psalms 137 and 7. And it reads, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee if thou hast served us. 
Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Yeah. So you think about what Christopher Columbus did to us when he came to the islands and what they did to, to, to you know, the native population when they came here to the Americas. It's going to all come back. And it's going to come back in the worst way. Back to Sirach. I'm going to go to 15. And then Yahweh Zah, I'll finish up the next half some other time. But now right now we're at 9. This is verse 10. And it reads. Smite and sunder the, the heads of the rulers of the heathen. That say there is none other but we. Yeah, and that's 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 E all day long. He painted himself to be the uh, uh, the people of the Lord. The Sistine Chapel, that uh, that pathetic statue of David, Renaissance statue of David, a Renaissance version of David. You know, you know, twenty five, almost three thousand years after after he was, <laughs> you know, a giant uh, a, a giant uh, statue. Uh, uh, Edomite statue of, of of who knows who it is that they call David, you know, uh, with the adult's body but a a, a a a toddler's penis. That statue. All right. But you know what? Let's get a couple scriptures. I already read Revelation two and twenty six. Let me get Psalms 2 and 8. Because the other nations, you can't have, you don't, your place is going to be under the foot of the Israelites for that first thousand years. And then you're going to have to serve them and be tributaries after that, after you get set free. But this is Psalms 2. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 7. And I will declare the decree that Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the, when Yahweh Shai's come back, he's going to own all the heathen and all the parts of the earth. Matter of fact, he owns everything. All right. It clearly tells you in, in, in 2nd Ezra, the earth was created for our sake. And we're co-heirs co with Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. <laughs> Woo. Let's get two on that one. Um, let's get Acts 26 and 7. New Testament on them on top of that. Because people are talking about the tribes are done away with. No, in the book of Acts, when all that stuff was going on, it was all about the Israelites, the Israelite foreigners, the scattered elect that be like unto the speckled bird. All right. They were a part of that as well. Big part of that. This is Acts 26 and 7. Unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving power day and night hope to come for which hope's sake. King Agrippa, Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. And it's all about the 12 tribes, man. All right. In Revelation uh, 7 and 7, I won't read it for time's sake. But it basically breaks down the 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes. And then the great multitude of the speckled birds. All right. So it says 12,000 from each tribe. And then once you get to a uh, uh, verse, let's see, nine, it says, and after this, I beheld lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all the nations and kindreds of the people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right, because only the people of the Lord will call on the name. His name is, is a terror unto the heathen, so they're not going to call on it. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power 
just said he's only the God of Israel, including the scattered ones, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. All right, so it's all about Israel, man. Point blank period. Verse 12. O Yahweh, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. All right? That's Isaiah 45 and 4. But Israel, meaning Yasharala, he is a prince. You got Yahweh, he is. He is to be. All right? He is. Yahweh Shai. He is a savior. And then Yasharala. He is a prince of the power. What power? He's a prince of the power of Yahweh. All right? We're the only people on the planet which is named after who the world ignorantly calls God. But this is Isaiah 45 and 4. And it reads, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have so named thee, even though thou hast not known me. All right? So it's all about Israel, man. This is Isaiah 44 and 1. Ye, ye now hear, O Jacob, yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant and Israel, whom I have chosen. <laughs> Yasharala, he is a prince of the power. All right. Verse 13, O be merciful unto Jerusalem, which is interchangeable with, with Jacob and Israel in some cases. Thy holy city, thy place of rest. All right. And, and, and where, where do we rest now? Well, we get no rest in this kingdom, but we rest in the scriptures with hope. This is uh First Thessalonians, Second uh, Thessalonians one and seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When Yahweh of uh, Salakia, when 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 the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven and with his mighty angels. And when when that happens, it's gonna be the Lord's coming back with violence with a great sword. He tells you that I come back. You you say I you think that I come back for peace. I tell you nay. I come back with a sword, man. Roughly paraphrased. All right. Um. Where am I at? Verse fourteen. Fill Zion, a Zion, with thine unspeakable oracles, and thy people with glory. And that's Amos 3, 1 and 2, man. The Lord only deals with Israel, man. And the prophets are going to get raised up in these last days, in these last moments. Many of them are going to get that power, man, that upgrade. Like the movie Upgrade. You know, Hancocks. X-Men. They're going to, the, the scriptures clearly say that you will be able to do the things I did and greater. The Lord brought people back from the dead. The Lord walked on water, man. Hell, you have prophets that call, rank, that call down fire from heaven. So the men of the Lord are going to have manipulation over the elements, the things that they're going to be able to do. There is no military, no military might that will be able to deal with them. All right. This is Amos 3. And this is why they hate us and why they're so afraid of us reading this book, this Bible. You know, you had that imposter uh, talked about the spiritual hallowing. They want to get the prophets off the streets, man. But Amos 3, 1 and 2. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord doesn't know anyone else but us. Call Halal Yahweh by Shana Bashai, by Shem Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Shalom.